over the last year, I've been repeatedly asked to rank the Final Destination franchise. So today we're gonna stop and rank all five Final Destination films from the worst to the best. Hi, my name is Sean Chandler, and I started this channel essentially because I was driving everyone around me crazy talking about movies way too much. If you can relate, you're probably in the right place to consider clicking that subscribe button. With that in mind, go ahead and join me down in the comment section. Share your ranking of the films. Which ones do you love? Which ones do you hate? And everything in between. This is one of those franchises where I feel like people have very different opinions as to which one is the best, so we should have a nice, lively discussion down below in the comment section. One final thing before we get started. After this video, check out this playlist up above with my rankings of the top horror franchises franchises. If you enjoyed this video, there's something else in there that you will love. With that said, let's get started. Coming in in last place is The Final Destination. This is not a good movie, but honestly for me, it's still very watchable, and that's because it is a total schlockfest. It exists 100% for the purpose of showing people die in 3D. There's a point in time in this movie where someone gets squished into a chain link fence, and it uses the 3D to have a portion of his body shoot at the screen. And as that happened, I thought, this might be one of the most ridiculous things I have ever seen in my entire life. There's no grander story. It doesn't really expand the mythology. The acting and the characters are more annoying than ever, but it delivers on the ridiculousness of showing people die in 3D. At times, this movie goes into Sharknado level absurdity as well as low quality special effects. It is not good, but it's never boring. Coming in at number four is Final Destination 3. This one's certainly an upgrade from The Final Destination, largely because of the cast that's anchored by Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Also, it's got a great intro sequence on a roller coaster that is kind of the nightmare of any time you've ridden a roller coaster. You've had that thought in your head, what if I went flying off of this thing and this movie gets to visualize, show you what that would look like. But once you get past the intro sequence, it gets a little bit bogged down by the number of rules they've added on to the mythology just gets kind of convoluted and chokes a little bit of the fun out of the franchise for me. Overall, this one, it still has all the schlock fun value of watching people die in gruesome fashion, but this is probably the most forgettable film in the franchise for me. Bringing us into the top three is Final Destination 2, or you might as well call it Final Destination 2 because this film is essentially setting the template for all of the sequels as just being more of the original film. Same exact premises the previous films, but more deaths, bigger deaths, more elaborate sequences, more, more, more is the key word here. And that works out really nicely in the opening sequence where this is probably the best opener of any of these films. Where this one gets knocked back a little bit for me is I don't really like the way they treated the events of the previous film and the characters from the previous film. It makes it difficult to get invested in a new set of characters in these films when you know there's no hope inside of any of this. Also, they started adding so many rules into the mix that it got confusing and it's not as interesting when I'm trying to figure out the rules of the film. And also the tone's a little bit unbalanced at times where it's very serious at times and then has the these comedically over the top deaths in the next scene, but still a very fun film in its own right. Our runner up is Final Destination 5. After a couple of entries that seem to exist purely for the schlock value of watching people die, this was a nice return to form with a little bit more plot thrown into the mix. Not over the top, it's still there so we can watch people die in very creative fashions, but it was a little bit more interesting in the way it used the characters, in particular with how Peter acts in the second half of the film, the way he treats the other characters. That's an intriguing twist inside of the franchise. Likewise, the final scene in the film is a nice little bookend to the franchise and a clever twist on the story overall. But coming in in first place is Final Destination. This was just a great setup for a horror franchise from a couple of the most famous writers from the X-Files. What makes it so distinct is they came up with a very unique style for the kill sequences where you watch these elaborate set of circumstances happen that build tension as you're knowing this person is about to die, but you're not quite certain exactly what's going to happen. And then as all of it unfolds, it's done in a very vibrant and fun fashion. But what makes this film stand out inside of the franchise, I think is that it has the best cast of any of the films, as well as a slightly more developed plot. Ali Lauder and Tony Todd are some of the people 
people more identified with the franchise, but even some of the random teenagers are stronger. You got someone like Sean William Scott. He's got a great name. Inside of there is one of the random guys, and it just makes for a more enjoyable set of characters. As for the plot itself, by adding in the FBI investigation, it just added a little bit more depth and layers to what was going on that made it seem a little bit more believable and added tension inside the story outside of just death trying to kill people. So overall, I think that this is the best developed of the films and it's the one that set the template for the entire franchise. So it comes in at number one. Remember to check out that playlist right over there of my ranking of the top horror franchises. Thank you so much for watching and keep talking movies too much.